Now, this is the throne room. In the early years of Queen Victoria's reign, various balls and concerts were held here, but now it's principally used for receptions and investitures and the taking of royal wedding photographs. Shall we? Now, this is the picture gallery. This is my great, 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 great grandfather, George III, and he bought Buckingham House in 1761 for his wife, Queen Charlotte. Who's this? Ah, that's one of the pits. The younger. Known for something that's always rather endeared me to him. Crippling shyness. Apparently, he could barely look people in the eye. And yet he became our Prime Minister. I quite understand. I'm also a shy person by nature. This leads to our private apartments. It's a shortcut. This is about as private as it gets in this place. It's where one feels most comfortable. Oh, I quite understand. You have to have somewhere to escape to. <laughs> I've often wondered how someone who hates attention as much as I do ended up in a goldfish bowl like the White House. But I realize there's actually a perverse logic to a cripplingly shy person ending up in this position. Well, you'll have to explain that one to me. Well, a shy person will seek out someone strong to protect them. Yes, I'm with you so far. And a strong character is often one who enjoys public life, or thrives on it. And then before you know it, the very person you have turned to in order to protect you is the very reason you are exposed. Jack's idea of heaven is a crowd. Campaigning, fundraising, speech making, that's when he comes alive. He'd far sooner speak to 10,000 people under the glare of spotlights than be alone with me. And what's your idea of heaven? I like my own company and to be alone in the countryside. And where do you go? A farm. Glenora, about an hour from Washington. Maryland. Virginia. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. Hello, Stuart. <gasps> They're eating. Yes, ma'am. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Hello, oh, puppy. What's your name? Well, that's sugar. <gasps> and these are our puppies. Come here. Come here. Whiskey and sherry. Hello. Oh, you're very Sorry. clever to be cautious. <laughs> oh, it's really one of the great paradoxes of being in a position where I have to talk to a great many people. But deep down, I'm happiest with animals. That makes two of us. I always think my sister would have made, if not the better, the more natural first lady. Oh, mine too. A born queen. <laughs> and the greatest of British queens, in her own mind, anyway. 